Do you live on a large, very slopy property and have branches constantly falling, which get in the way of your mowing? Come along with me and I'll show you the mower I use that makes this problem a thing of the past. Let's go. Hey guys, Musa here from Quantum Home Improvements and Solutions. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanna to talk about this Razorback mower, which I acquired back about two years ago. And so we have a lot of falling branches on this property and it's a fairly large property and very slopey. Some areas around about 30 degree, uh, which is very dangerous for lawn mowers to mow. So this particular mower is a four wheel drive and it's got a low center of gravity and a very wide wheelbase and it's hydraulically driven and there are no belts. And this mower is more of a slasher than a mower. And so it can go through nearly everything. Once upon a time, we used to collect all these branches and put them in a pile and burn them off once or twice a year during the winter season. But that's a thing of the past because this mower can actually mow up to about 50 mil, two inches of actual falling branches. So um, we've had some falling branches just recently and I thought it's a perfect time for uh, me to display and show you this. I have made another video, which I'll put a link in below that you can watch with me repairing this Razorback mower. Um, I did actually go through very rocky areas and uh, it wasn't very good for my mower. So I went and bought some new blades and the blades are really expensive. Apparently they're made from the same materials as samurai swords. So on the last video, I actually showed how to replace those blades as well. And so this model number is CMX1402, which is the four wheel drive version. You can get the 1401, which is only a rear wheel drive. And there's two models higher than that with larger motors, but they do the exact same thing. So it depends on what you wanna use it for, whether it's commercial or if it's domestic. So for me, this was the perfect product. I also had a roll bar put on there and a suspension seat because I do have a spinal injury and uh, this uh, really makes it a lot easier for me to mow, especially on angles. So I was using a Cox mower, but I did roll it down the hill a couple of times. Lucky I didn't kill myself. Uh, it was a death machine on this property. So this is perfect and I'll show you. And I'm also gonna finish mowing that area, which I did last time on the video to show how it mowed on a slope. This time you'll see it groomed a bit nicer because I've been able to keep on top of the mowing. So I'll mow this and then I'll mow this area as well. Okay, so before I start, I'll just spread out all these branches just to uh, make it easier for me to drive over. Look at that, she's pretty thick. This one is a little bit over two inches. It's more about probably two and a half, close to three inches. I'll be a little careful over this one. Okay, so I've purposely left it on the hill to demonstrate that not only can it go on a hill, but it can cut really well uh, with thick bush. And this is made to go in the bush, uh, and once again, not with rocks. Okay, let's get into it. I'll put my earmuffs on, put my belt on. Okay, start the motor. There we go. So I'll put this on 70 mil, so you've got different settings from zero to 150. I'll just engage the cutter. one right here there we go
Look at that. Man, this machine is incredible. It is definitely a very good mower and a slasher. Okay, so now I'll just mow the lawn on the slope. All done. I did leave it a little bit too late to do this, but it took around half an hour to mulch down the uh, branches and also to mow this area. And it did a great job. The Razorback is just brilliant. It's really a good slasher. It's mulched down everything down to small particles, even the two and a half inch timber, the 65 mil timber, down to nothing. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with it. It's the first time I've done a timber that thick. Um, I wouldn't suggest it to do it all the time, but you do have to go over back and forth a few times to mulch it down, which I did, and it's just all eliminated. And so over time, as I mow, that'll all disappear. And the mowing, uh, it was so easy. Uh, you can see the slopes down there is about 30 degree. Uh, here's about 25 degree and over there is roughly about 20 degree. And at no time did I feel uncomfortable with this machine. And it does a really nice cut. I wouldn't say it's gonna be lawn finish, but if you're looking for something to cut on a slope, it cuts really well. And so I'm very happy with it. So I will put a link below of the first video I did with this Razorback, where the grass in this area was really long um, because I had an operation on my back and I couldn't mow it. So now it's finished and now I can maintain it beautifully. And a big thumbs up to this Razorback. What a brilliant machine, worth every cent. I'm very happy with it. And I will put a link below for Michael from Emu Plains Mowers, uh, where I got this machine from. And also I'll put a link in for Razorback, uh, just in case you're looking for a dealer in your area. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. And I'd ask you, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button and share this video and there's many more to come. Thanks guys.